The WaterBox All-in-One Aquariums are easy to set up and perfect for both saltwater and freshwater. Includes the aquarium, cabinet, filter socks, sponges, media, return tubing, and nozzles. To set up your all-in-one, you'll also need a return pump, light, and heater. For the return pump, we use and recommend the CJ Synchro Silent or Synchro SDC pumps. If you'll be running either a reef or planted aquarium, a high output light would be necessary. We use and recommend Aqua Illumination Prime LED lights with a 12 inch flex arm. For more information on which equipment is best suited for your all in one aquarium, visit waterboxaquariums.com. Before adding anything into your aquarium, make sure the cabinet is level. Check out our instructional video on how to level your cabinet linked above. Once your aquarium is in its proper location and leveled, you can start assembling the filtration and equipment. First attach the return tubing to the pump output, then place on the bottom of the pump chamber. It is recommended to cut the return tubing to proper length so it does not bend. The heater, filter sponges, and carbon are placed in the filtration chamber next to the filter socks. You do want to rinse the carbon before use. The biological media that is included with your water box will not usually be used in a reef aquarium. We recommend using this media in a freshwater or fish only setup. Now place the filter socks and holder in each overflow chamber. Install your lights on the back glass of the aquarium and you are ready to set up your all-in-one. With an all-in-one aquarium, the water circulates through the back filtration chambers and back into the aquarium. The water enters the filter sock chamber through the weir teeth, then passing through the filter socks which collect waste, debris, and particulates. The water moves into the second chamber where it will pass through the sponges and media. The final chamber is where the return pump operates. The pump pushes the water through the nozzles and back into the aquarium. Water evaporation will occur in the return pump chamber, so you need to check daily and add fresh water to bring back to normal level.